Uh, Shannon, in, in terms of the, the president, Joe Biden's opponent now in this race, he is scheduled to be in Kenosha tomorrow. We mentioned Democratic leaders in that state telling him, please, Mr. President, not right now. By all accounts, that's going forward. What can we expect there tomorrow from the president? I mean, it will be nothing short of him going ahead again with this law and order message. He is supposed to visit uh, businesses that were affected, uh, that were looted. He is supposed to hold a panel on community policing. Uh, I'm sorry, on you know community safety. One thing that we are not anticipating from him is meeting with Jacob Blake's family, and we're not anticipating any talk about this broader issue of police shooting unarmed black men, which is the issue that is behind all these protests that over and over and over again, the president chooses not to talk to. So he has made it very clear uh, he is on the side of the, you know, quote unquote, vigilantes or protesters, whatever you want to call the sort of counter demonstrators that are coming in to these cities now. Um, many times armed, that have been exacerbating a lot of these clashes. He was very clear today in his remarks. He is on their side. He is not on the side of the protesters. And he is going to Kenosha to talk about safety and, quote, law and order and not this issue of criminal justice reform, racism, uh, violence against, um, you know, uh, black individuals that we have seen over and over again by the police. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.